Well, I want to say good afternoon to Trinidad. Hey, good, there, bro. good afternoon, bro. I'm good. How are you? I'm alright, man. You're looking fresh. You know? <laughs> Thank you, man. I try, I try. Looking like money, no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, man, we were just talking about, um, I was just saying to you, like, you got signed really recently. Yeah. Um, but before all of that, like, how, how long have you actually been making music for? Um, before I got signed, I was making music for probably like three months, two months. Yeah, it was, a, it was a quick turnaround. Even all now, I've only been making music for like five months in total. So it's been a quick turnaround. So what brought yeah. you to actually want to start? Um, it was just... I was just thinking... To, uh, it's something that I kind of had on my mind, but I was just thinking, how am I going to do it? Oh, it's long. I'm never going to blow this bare man doing it. Like, what's the point? Then one day I just thought, you know what? This is studios there. Let me just go pay the money and see how it sounds. Like, it's so accessible now. Studios around everywhere. So I just went there, made my first song, and it came out all right. Went my second one, people were like, yeah, that's card, you know, you got floor, you got floor. And the third one was 2 Catty. Um, the first one was never released, and the second one never had a video or anything. So this is kind of like my entry to the scene, like my debut sort of single. Um, yeah, that's how it came about still. You know people are gonna think that, they're gonna interpret it in there. Ignore my man's trying to think, you know. Yeah, and he just and he bust that quick. Yeah. yeah, people have like been trying yeah. for years. For years, yeah. Um, yeah. Is it is that? I mean, I guess you probably haven't felt the impact of the change so far, but mm. is it a situation now where you're feeling like there's a difference now? Now that you signed, now that yeah. you're like your first black press round. Yeah, like, like there is a difference. I mean, there's a slight change, but I feel like I haven't even known to deep it yet because it's just been so fast. Everything's been so fast. I mean, from the the interviews, the, sorry, the meetings to the signing to the tune, the track dropping, and everything's been so quickly. But there has definitely been a change, yeah. Uh, explain to me, like, for people who don't know the process, so 2K is out, is that the song that got the labels interested? Yeah, so um, it was a preview that I put on my Instagram of that 2K song. So three weeks after I put the preview out, it racked up. It was like, I think maybe like 50,000, 40,000 views. Then I got um, A and R's emailing me. They heard the, I sent them the tune by email, the first version, and they they loved it. So I just got invited to loads of meetings from pretty much all the labels, and then we just ended up signing with Virgin. Their, they, their contract made the most sense. So yeah. What was it, I mean, you were like, one of your management team. Like, like, what was those meetings like? You know, like, how did you feel? Because you look like relatively young, right? Yeah, yeah. So 19, you're coming in. You're nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. yeah. Nineteen as well. Yeah. yeah. Nineteen. Wow, you know, <laughs> but going into those meetings like before it happened like you tell your, yeah, your family like yo we're gonna go have this it's meeting. crazy man stepping in man. yeah stepping into the buildings I mean like I mean the first meeting we had I think I saw two Lisa walk past um, something like that and the second one I think Young One was in there a few minutes later it was it's crazy um, going there and actually sitting down and hearing that yo like please like, we want to sign you not like it was, and the, it was better because they kind of shouted me as opposed to me maybe, maybe like sending them my work, and they're like, okay. So it was, yeah, it was, it was a mad feeling, literally mad feeling. When you have to make the decision, do you almost feel like, like I'm letting the other ones down in a way? Yeah, of course, because I went to loads of meetings, as in from one label to, I probably went to maybe like six or seven, um, and probably had like nine or ten emails. Some of them I even couldn't go to time wise. And then obviously when you, you kind of develop a relationship with the A&Rs, so, um, and then when you do sign, it's like, oh, to the other A&R, like, it's like, do you know why? This is a bit, but yeah, I mean, I had to sign to one, so that's, yeah. just, that's just how the game goes, really. Yeah, man. And, 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 you know, upon signing, like, in your own, like, what, so where are you actually from? I'm Nigerian. No, not the area. Oh, North London. North London. Yeah. And you're Nigerian as well? Yeah, yeah, Nigerian. Yeah, yeah. So I get like, my name, like, like, you're not Nigerian. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Nigerian. Yeah, so. Born in America, but I'm Nigerian. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So what happened to the education thing? Like, um, let's not talk <laughs> too much. Now, education's there. I just finished my A-levels, actually. Yeah. So the plan was to go to uni. Um, obviously, that conversation wasn't the easiest, but they understand, man. They're like, I mean, because of what's the severity and things of things that I just got signed, I mean, it's not like I'm just trying out and I'm saying to my parents yo I'm not trying to go to uni no more based on nothing there's, there's tangible evidence to suggest I might actually have a career in music so they're like okay cool you got a year boy like, if you, you got a year next year if you ain't done nothing then you're back to the books <laughs> do, you, do you know what you would have studied in uni? yeah I was I would have so I would have gone to study criminology at Nottingham oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I would have gone I would have gone to do that so 
but they're cool, they're cool now. They're nah, still. nah, they're cool, man. Mum and dad are cool. They understand. Yeah. yeah, they're cool. They're supporting me as well, so it's good, yeah. So when you say, like, you know, it's been, like, let's say, like, give or take five or six months, um, is music enough of a passion yet for you? Of course, yeah, it's, def- it's, it's always been a passion in the listening sense, but obviously I wasn't making it. So now I've just developed another side of the passion for making it because music in the sense that I'm always listening to music. You know, my car, I'm always blasting music. My house, blasting music. Speaker, shower, everything's just music. You're always listening to music. So now I've developed another passion for it in the sense that making music. I love being in the studio. I love trying out new things. I mean, I love just freestyling on the mic. It's just, yeah, so. So what, what, what is your sound for, for you? Um, for me, it? you see, I wouldn't class it as just like the typical UK sort of sound, I would definitely say there's a touch of R&B, a touch of Afro swing, a touch of, you know, hip hop, like, it's a mixture of UK and US culture, purely because, like I said, growing up, I just used to listen purely to this R&B hip hop, that's it. It was only about two years ago I started listening to the music, the UK scene, um, which is like, you know, the big guys in the game, the Hosses, the Stormzy, and Crepton Con, and stuff like that. Yeah, because when I, when I listen to the UK, like, can tell you can actually hold a note. It's not. Yeah. It's not auto tune. It's not here. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. A man wants to really go and do yeah, this. Yeah. Yeah. It can go all the way. All the way. Like, yeah. Yeah. Would you? I mean, would you like go into the rap field, or was that something you already previously done? Or um, no, nah, I never. Whenever I started, it was always just that singing vibe. That, that's naturally what I do. When I go to the studio, the rap beats, I tend, I tend to struggle with them. It's more the, you know, the jumpy beats and the singing beats like the Chris Brown kind of vibe that I love and that's probably where I'm, that's my avenue that is my sound that's me but as I go forward and grow as an artist I'm definitely going to try and dabble into maybe rapping a bit and stuff like that so well, what was the actual um, video shoot like for you was that like your first, yeah, was way, was that your yeah. first video right that was my f- well I have a freestyle out but that was just a studio video so it wasn't actually anything just me and my manager in the studio and but yeah, that was my first proper like budget video shoot. What was that like for you? Yeah, it was it was amazing. It was a yes, yeah, it was sick. A was good it experience. Long, was a long day. It was a very long day, but it was it was fun. I mean, I, I think we got there at eight and left at like ten. But eight in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Started at like eight in the morning, left at like ten. But it was wavy, you know, man. It was big up everyone on that that day because it was it was it was good. It was good. I mean, again, because it's so early um, for you. Um, are you already thinking about? What's to come after 2K? Yeah, man. Second single's in the bag. Yeah. We're done, done, done that. Third single's done that. I'm already thinking, like, now on an extended project, sort of, what's gonna, how that's gonna look, ideas and stuff. But no, nah, we definitely, we, we've got the second one there and dusted, done and dusted, yeah. Do you, do you feel like, I mean, I guess now, because Spotify's helping out with a lot of the streaming, yeah. so it's not yeah. really about quote unquote selling music, but do you ever feel pressure to, like, reach goals that satisfy like the label your own personal um i mean for me all i can do is just make the best music i can everything else is just left in the hands of the fans and the people and supporters um so in that sense not really because i mean yeah all i can do is make the best music the label push it and yeah we see we see how far we go yeah i'm on your ig like you seem to be like you always have a smile on your face and you're <laughs> saying, like and yeah. you have great engagement already yeah man. yeah so um yeah, yeah your dms will be popping like, <laughs> yeah <laughs> man yeah um, i get a lot of dms still yeah, yeah, yeah. you get like um artists like you know, you jump on my record like, yeah 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 you get do you, that. do you have to ignore that or do you have to um no nah, it's not it's not a case of ignoring it's a, it's a case of how many can i reply to how many can i actually physically do but there was one that i got the other day that i was i was feeling it so i actually said yeah man i'll do that and i jumped on it um, yeah, yeah. yeah, I jumped on that later verse down. Um, so yeah, she was she's wavy, man. She's wavy. She's really wavy. So yeah, I do. If I'm, if I'm feeling it that much, of course I'll lay a verse on it. I mean, that, that's just on like a personal relationship. That's without the label getting involved. I'll just do it, and then whatever they say is them. Yeah. But I'll do it because I respect good music, and yeah. So okay, so just back on your management team. So like, these are your friends, right? Mm. So like, kind of like. Who advises you guys on to make like the best decisions? Like, um, so like a management company, our management company, um, that you know, we're just about to actually sign to, mm-hmm. um, probably in the next few days, we've just got management company. So there, and my dad, and obviously Kay, just basically my supervisors, they advise me, they'll book things for me, you know, tell me what we're doing and stuff like that. So those kind of free aspects, one, two, three, yeah. Yeah, so like more day to day management. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other people like advising on the Yeah, I mean, obviously my dad's there to just give me 
like Sun Advice, got K as my boy, and then we've got the management company just in the sense of like promotion and yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. What was your dad saying, bro? Compared to the music, my dad will be saying to me. Nah, you know what? My dad's cool, man. Like he he's got the ear, so he knows what what's popping. And as soon as he had to cut, he was like, "Yeah, this is gonna go." Yeah, he's like, this is gonna go. I mean, it, like, it's my dad, and <laughs> he's not fresh because he scored in this country. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, he he went to University of Liverpool, so he knows what he knows what I'm going. Like, he knows where it is. You know, so it's it's um yeah, he's cool, man. He's cool. Yeah. I mean, I guess two K is self explanatory, but like for your own words, like for those who probably haven't picked up on it, what is two K all about? The message. It's just for like the man them these days are buying a lot of like designer you know you gotta be sourced you gotta drip for the girl because that's what they want to see you know they want to see the machine they want to see the valentino and it's just facts i mean i see i've seen girls change their plans you know when they see machine and stuff so i just gotta put in a song you know it's, it's real life a lot of people can relate to that one still and a lot of girls have actually messaged me like yeah man i'm guilty of that so <laughs> i'm like yeah, cool at least you're honest but yeah that's that's the plan but obviously in a comical way like no one's no one's getting on to no one but yeah that's just yeah that's the message. I guess also because like, you guys are like quite young. Mm. You're men still, but like yeah. the Instagram is such a powerful thing now. Yeah, like, yeah. You see a man them having to, they're tagging what they're wearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? yeah. So it's like yeah, yeah. people being conscious of that. But yeah. I wanted to know more so for like, your, your age demographic. Like, mm. how do you, like, if at all, break from that whole materialistic mm. like, pressure to actually have to? want to have those things yeah nah there's definitely that pressure unfortunately because of like social media and like where, where it's come where it's worst what it has come to so there definitely is a pressure to um um conform to that sort of lifestyle you know i have to if i go out i have to have some sort of designer to an extent um which is unfortunate but yeah, you can't you can't go out probably looking like you because you have to maintain your appearance yeah, yeah 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 so I, you know yeah but that's just how it goes, man. It's a game. Yeah. It's a game. And I kind of rounding up. Um, what, what, what are you actually trying to get out of the music industry for yourself? For myself, I'm trying to go far, man. Um, with my sound, I'm definitely trying to touch the US, break, break USA. Um, that's my main goal for like the next sort of five years. Someone asked me earlier, but it immediately within a year, I'd say I definitely want my top forty, top forty hit. Official UK official hit, that'll be that'll be mad. That'll be mad. Yeah. Yeah, so cause we haven't really had any vocalists mm. touch America, but I guess because you already come from there. Come yeah, so you it, wanna I wanna kinda of just go back and just be like, yeah, you know, just share my music because I feel like it's quite diverse in the sense it can touch the US with the right program on the right, you know, people backing it.